Welcome to day one of the seven day business splits. I'm Carrie Wilkerson, author of The Barefoot Executive, and I'm so glad that you're here. Listen, this is not going to be rocket science today, but I want you to think of your business in two different ways. Are you working on your business or are you working in your business? And these are two very different things. So let me give you some examples. When you're working on your business. That means maybe you're working on paperwork, you're organizing your shelves, you are uh, creating website material, you are doing books, things that are on your business but not generating revenue, working with customers, contacts, prospects, etc. Working on your business is also working with your team if you have a virtual assistant or a real assistant, however that looks for you. Working in your business. So when you're generating customers, talking to prospects, making calls, creating product, delivering coaching, doing shows, whatever it is that creates revenue or delivery of services that you have sold. So there's on your business and in your business. Both are healthy, both are necessary. The trouble comes when you do too much on and not enough in. The trouble comes when you do too much in and not enough on. If you spend too much time on your business because you're avoiding anything outside of your comfort zone, maybe you love the administration, setting up social media profiles, tweaking your pictures, your website, your emails, whatever that looks like, then you run out of business, you run out of revenue, your funnel empties itself. If you spend too much in your business, too many sales calls, too many appointments, too much delivery, and don't set aside any planning time or project time, or any of those important things, the administrative stuff, then you have too much business, but everything else is a tangled mess. And you know, there's IRS that comes calling, there are problems at home, and you just don't want to go there. So you have to look at a balance between on and in. What is that balance? Well, your mileage may vary, but I'm going to suggest that every week you take some time, you sit down with your calendar, your planner, your digital device, whatever you plan on, and you say, this is my on time, this is my end time. Guys, sometimes we get caught up in, I'm working all the time, I'm working all the time, but I don't feel like I'm making any progress. When that happens, it's usually because you are too fully immersed either on or too fully immersed in. Let's make a list today. Grab a sheet of paper, stand at your whiteboard, stand at an easel, whatever you need to do. What are the things that you must do on your business? And what are the things that you need to do in your business? I think it'll open your eyes and it'll help you see how over the next seven days, you can make some shifts, feel more productive, feel more balanced, and get more done.